Itoku, a place in Abelko town, the Ogun State capital, is believed to be where the Adre fabric started from, gradually spreading to what it is today. Happy birthday, Jai, takes us on a historical journey on the production of Adre textile. The Adre textile production is inborn for the Egba people and inherited by birth. The seed craft as a family business an heritage which passes on to descendants of families. Jujulola's compound of Kemta was the first to produce it in Abeokuta by Minia Jujula Shueto, the second Yalodi of Egbaland, who then passed on the process to her children and onward to the future generations. The first Adira material was made with Theru and Elu made from the yellow leaf, which is planted in the Shaki area of Oyo State. Over the years, creating Adire designs now involves simple techniques, including tie and dye, folding, crumpling and sprinkling, and also a splashing of hot wax on fabrics as a resistant agent and place of the indigenous cassava paste. Women remained specialists in the dyeing, tying, hand painting, and sewing, as men became involved in decorating techniques using a stitching machine and applying starch through zinc stencils. I love Adire to be precise, and I love culture. I love our heritage. I've been um, from Ogun State, Abeokuta. I love a lot of things that come from Abeokuta. A lot of experience, experience like uh, having uh, using a plain material and turning it to things beautiful. A lot of challenges. If you are not determined, you cannot do this work. I love anything that is associated with tradition, and it's part of what we have as a culture in Eba land here. So it's very, very good. Particularly if you step outside the country and you have these things on, you are being adored. So it's good to equally promote the works of our hands. Some of the traders and residents express their worries as the youths are showing little or no interest in their direct craft. You don't have younger ones because there's nothing propelling them, nothing enticing them into doing it. So if the government wants to come in, they could help, incentives and whatever to help the younger ones to take interest and do some of these little things. Government, they are not helping our situation that much. As in, most of all these fabrics you are looking around here, there's none produced by uh, the, the, the material we are using and everything. They are all imported. They bring them from far away, and that makes it uh, more challenges. Recently, the governor of the led administration is making all efforts to support the Adire textile by digitalizing it. There are also plans to make the fabric compulsory for secondary school students as uniforms at least once a week. And this is also applying to his cabinet members. The policy of the government has really helped them in terms of um, um, the profits and in terms of their turnover. And um, that, as it may, has been a plus to this administration. And that we can also confirm from all the producers of um, the Adire um, fabric. Adire textile is the indigo dyed cloth made in southwest Nigeria using a variety of resist dyeing techniques. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.